saw the forecast, knew today was going to be beautiful, and made sure I gave myself a whole hour outside. Good. Today. It was That's great. such a nice day. But after this weekend with all that rain, um, especially in the evenings, George, are we done with that, or is there still more in the forecast? Our focus tonight will be on severe weather, guys, oh, not just only the rain. That'll be after about 2 a.m. in the northwest counties, but everyone could see this line of storms come through before you wake up tomorrow morning. So be sure you have your cell phones turned on and those alerts. 13 weather ball is blinking bright. We have thunderstorms late tonight. It's also red tomorrow. A very warm and very humid day ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And around the area, a beautiful day today. We said today would be the best day out of the uh, last of three and certainly turned out that way with low humidity. Plenty of sunshine and no haze. 74 from the ZZM beach camera there in Grand Haven. A lot of folks were in the water and on the beach earlier today. South Haven, same thing. 77 degrees with a light wind at three miles an hour. Waves virtually flat. Along the lake shore, one footers at the buoys uh, several miles offshore. But as those storms roll through here tonight and tomorrow, there's a beach hazard alert going in effect at 2 a.m. all the way through 8 p.m. tomorrow. Waves overnight only going to build to one to two feet. It's tomorrow when they'll start to get very high. Water temperatures uh, today, upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Well, here's the risk we showed you earlier. There is a slight risk here in West Michigan with the highest risk for severe weather back to our west. And the threats will come from hail. That's a low risk of hail, but we've got a moderate risk for damaging thunderstorm winds, but this is the area that those storms will be passing through later on tonight. The storms are developing right up in through here with a low pressure system right there, and these storms are expected to push to the south and east uh, over the next to several hours. This is right around 10 o'clock in the evening. See this storm building up right there? That's 11 o'clock. Now this storm will gradually expand and push into southwest lower Michigan after about 4 a.m. or so, and then it'll arrive in the Grand Rapids area right around 6 or 645. So again, this will be a very strong system coming on through. After that, we've got a very warm and humid day tomorrow and looking farther ahead, at the end of the month of June through July 4, we're back to an equal chance for warmer or cooler temperatures. Average high is 83. I think we'll be right around that range. And as far as precipitation, a little higher chance that we'll see more rain during that five day period. So for tonight, late night, we're looking at those storms progressing from Ludington down to South Haven between about 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. Overnight lows in the low and mid 60s, warmer than last night. Late night storms after about three or four o'clock in the morning here, 61 to 63. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we're looking at temperatures dropping down to around 64 to 65. Our thunderstorms may come prior, just prior to sunrise. 13 on your side forecast. Morning clouds, afternoon sun. It'll be breezy, hazy, and very humid with a high of 86. 82 with a similar situation with the humidity leaving in the afternoon. Beautiful day on Thursday, a little below average. 81 on Friday and dry, but here we go again. Thunderstorms Friday night into Saturday, a very humid day Saturday, but then drying out on Sunday. Next week, there is a chance of storms long about Tuesday, but right now, very warm conditions leading up to the 4th of July. Well, after a wet start to the weekend, things improved on Sunday, and today, downright gorgeous. But tonight, we have a warm front pushing through, and that may mean some strong to severe weather while you're sleeping. 13 weather ball is blinking bright because of those storms late tonight. It's also red, a warmer, more humid day ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And walking the dog this evening, Mike, uh, Lily's going to have a great time. Should be a green paw, temperatures very comfortable, humidity kind of low, dropping out of the 80s into the 70s. But tomorrow morning may be a challenge. We're going to give you a red paw for the early part of the day because there will be some strong to possibly severe thunderstorms after about 4 a.m. all the way through 10 a.m. tomorrow. So that's why the red paw for Lily. A little bit less sunshine tomorrow uh, compared to today because we have morning clouds followed by afternoon sunshine. Uh, winds are going to be up considerably, especially as that warm front pushes through and then the cold front through a little bit later on in the evening. We're tracking some developing storms. They haven't really got going yet here in northern Minnesota, southern Minnesota, and perhaps even in northern Wisconsin. That's where we are expecting those to develop. Storm track's going to be moving this way. Warm front will be pushing through later on tonight, and these storms will be tracking right along 
along the curvature of that warm front. And for that reason, we have that slight risk for severe weather over West Michigan as those storms travel through Wisconsin. The leading edge of that may make it into southwest lower Michigan. We have a high risk for strong damaging winds and a medium risk for some large hail. As far as the current weather, this is where these storms are expected to develop here over the next several hours. It's going to take a while. This is running through 9 30, 10, 10 30, 11 o'clock. See this area of storms? They're going to be pushing south and east. This is 2 o'clock in the morning, so you're going to be sleeping. You'll be in your deep sleep around 4 o'clock in the morning. Some storms erupting along the lake shore, and then they'll spread south and east throughout the rest of the late night into the morning hours and then pushing south of us by about 10 o'clock in the morning. That's when we have our highest risk for severe weather. Long range outlook. Uh, take my word for it. There's a high risk that we will have warmer than average temperatures are during that uh, <laughs> that uh, one week period and a high chance that we will see a more rainfall. Looks like uh, they've taken a vacation already for the 4th of July weekend. As far as our weekend, uh, uh, our overnight goes, we have late night storms starting around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning around Ludington and Hart. They'll progress southward all the way down the lake shore to around 7 a.m. in South Haven. Low and mid 60s for overnight lows. Again, late night tonight after about 4 o'clock in the morning, low and mid 60s with those thunderstorms rumbling through. It'll be a little bit later on after about 5 a.m. here in Grand Rapids with overnight lows in the mid 60s. 13 on your side forecast. And then the clouds stick around with those storms departing, followed by afternoon sunshine. It'll be a very humid day and very warm 86. We'll see morning clouds, afternoon sun again on Wednesday as the humidity leaves us, dropping to 82. 78, very nice day on Thursday. 81 and dry Friday. There'll be more overnight storms Friday night into Saturday as it gets hazy and very humid. Another nice day on Sunday, kind of like Thursday. And then warming up into the low and even upper 80s going toward the 4th of July, which is Thursday this year. Could be a Thursday or Tuesday storm prior to that very warm weather. So just the weather word tonight is stay weather aware late tonight. We will keep an eye on it. Thanks so much, George. George, after last week, we deserved a pleasant summer day, and boy, it did not disappoint. <laughs> I did not. Boy, you know, the transition from the heat wave to today, kind of ugly. <sighs> Yes, yeah, we had a lot of rain yes. and storms, especially to the north uh, Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. Sunday was a little bit of an improvement today. Yeah, we deserve more like this. 13 weather ball though tonight is blinking bright. We have some late night strong to severe thunderstorms in sight. It's also red tomorrow, a warmer and more humid day ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And temperatures today rebounded to 81 here in Grand Rapids and Holland. 83 the warm spot down in Kalamazoo. Pretty close to our average high of 82. Came within 3 degrees of our forecast high. We have continued the streak. We're now at 28 days within our target range. Only one miss here in the last month or so. Our satellite and radar composite showing clear skies about the area, but there's a strong warm front approaching right in through here, and that's going to develop some showers and storms a little bit later on tonight. We have that slight risk for severe weather here in West Michigan with the enhanced risk back to our west. All of this will be coming in very late tonight, and the main risks will come from strong damaging winds. Uh, we've put this into the high category after about 3 o'clock in the morning over the northwest counties to as late as 10 a.m. over toward Jackson. There's also a medium risk for some large hail associated with that. But we got lots of sunshine right now, but we're going to watch these uh, clouds roll in late tonight. Storms will not be here until very late tonight, well after you're sleeping. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. Nothing going on. This is right around 345, 4 o'clock. Starting to develop over the northwest counties, heading off to the south and east. There'll be first round coming through around 5 a.m. here in Grand Rapids, and then the second round with a cold front coming through between about 6 and 8 a.m with the trailing edge finally pushing to the south after about 10 o'clock in the morning. So this is going to come while you're sleeping. Make sure you have a way to get your weather alerts either by your phone with the alerts turned on or NOAA weather radio because the TV is not going to wake you up. We'll be here uh, when you do wake up. Forecast for tomorrow, though, those morning showers and storms will start to depart south of Muskegon down through South Haven. It may take until noon to do so. It'll be very humid, upper 80s here. To the north, the storms will be over by the time about the sun comes up. It'll be uh, partly cloudy throughout the afternoon and breezy along the lakeshore with that southwest wind at 15 to 20, low 80s north. Uh, northern areas, uh, your showers and storms will be over by about 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning, mid 80s with very high humidity and showers and 
thunderstorms in the morning before they finally do depart in the afternoon. Upper 80s across the region with very high humidity. 13 on your side forecast. Morning clouds, afternoon sunshine in most areas after those storms depart as we hit 86 degrees. Morning clouds, afternoon sun again on Wednesday as the humidity finally departs. 82 and a very nice day on Thursday with a high of 78. Dry again on Friday, but Friday night into Saturday, here we go again. Showers and thunderstorms and getting very humid once again. Back to a very comfortable Sunday. A 4th of July week, we're starting with some sunshine and clouds in the afternoon Monday. Storms on Tuesday and right now looking very warm and somewhat humid through the 4th.